ain't got good dick, then don't waste my time. Get hit from the back, ass fat, I'm getting fine. You know why? When the sky comes falling, even when the sun don't shine, I got faith. Ich habe das gesehen und mir ist sofort bloß eine Sache eingefallen. Nummer 1 und Nummer 2. Ignorieren mal das, was er im Gesicht hat. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Louise. Oh, hi, just... Mom. Hello. You're holding my stuff. Hello, my little lady. Hello, Mom. What are I you was... doing with my stuff? I was just welcoming our newest bed and breakfast guest into your room. Into my room? Say hello to Teddy! <gasps> No, because you want to know who the bravest people in this world are? It's not cops or skydivers or even those people that swim underwater and explore the narrow little caves. The bravest people are the ones who buy the romance books with shirtless men on the cover and read them in public. Like you see somebody reading A Cowboy's Honor on the public bus, you know nothing phases them. You see somebody reading I Want You Now on a park bench, nerves of steel. You see somebody whip out by love undone while waiting in line at the grocery store and you know they could get through a zombie apocalypse without twitching an eye. Those are the type of people I would trust with my life.
Okay, I for one will never get the argument some people make for why girls should cover themselves up while they're in school, being that boys are just more sexually driven. Because have you met a teenage girl? They don't say anything, but they write everything. Who do you think is single-handedly carrying the entire fan fiction industry on their backs? Who do you think keeps AO3 and Wattpad in business? Um. Christ! I need to see a fucking chiropractor after this. I was running through the six with my walls. Yeah. I was running through the six with my walls. You know how that shit go. We see each other. We good. Not normal. It's not good. Let's not let's not normalize porn addictions just because it looks different in young girls than it does in young boys. If you're below the age of 14 and you're watching this, don't fucking read the shit that's on Wattpad, okay? There's better fan fiction out there. Basically what this person was saying was that everybody that read like books with smut from Wattpad are basically addicted to porn and if you're okay with sitting down and reading it around your family then you really have a porn addiction and it's bad and how the generation after us are gonna go through the same thing what I'm saying is you're saying that you can buy find better you know fanfics or whatever that's not true because most fanfics have smut in it most fanfics I literally started reading after as oh you know like whatever I did not know it was a fanfic but when I started reading it, it was like I could not escape the smut part two. Wattpad fucking sucks! And let me tell you why. Picture this. Eighth grade me stumbles across this website called Wattpad. Eighth grade me starts to write a Wattpad story. Do I write a fan fiction? No. Do I write a werewolf vampire fantasy? No. I write hardcore gay smut. Or at least what I thought gay smut looked like when I was in eighth grade. Spoiler alert, it wasn't very accurate. Anyways, I forget all about it, right? And uh, four years later, I find my what, password again. I log in. Turns out, the whole story has over 100,000 reads. <sighs> okay, crazy. At first, I was very scared. Then I was very excited. Then I was creeped out because it turns out most of my readers are women over the age of 21, which is a little nasty, you know? It's a little... Nah. Anyways, um... So I forget about it again. Three days later, I log back in, you know, just to check how the story is doing, how many how many reads it has. And it turns out they took it down. And you want to know why they took it down? They took it down for mature content. All of Wattpad is mature content. Are they just going to delete their whole website now?